Hello everyone and welcome to your Informatic University channel. Uh, we'll continue with Zotero playlist. In this video, we'll show to you how to link overleaf with Zotero. Uh, so yeah, uh, I want to say that this method is not be easy as the world one. Uh, in the world, we have uh, extensions that we uh, will uh, link directly uh, Zotero with the world. Okay, but in overleaf, we don't have uh, extensions. We have uh, extension, but this extension is not free for lifetime. Okay, is very is limited, as is limited in number of articles. Uh, I think you have only one hundred articles. Okay, uh, for me, I want something that is free for unlimited article and free for lifetime. Okay, so we have to follow these uh, these steps. Okay, but we have to focus bit because it's a little bit complicated. Okay, so the step uh, are uh, create a Zotero account. I mean by that create an online account. Then then we will sync our Zotero desktop app we downloaded in a previous video with this online account. Then we create our API. Okay, we show you how to create this API. Then enter the API to our overleaf. Then we make a refresh. I will uh, explain what I mean by the refresh, and we will try to make a reference example. Okay. So first thing first, we create Zotero account. We will go to Zotero.org. Okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, in this. Okay. Uh, we click in login. Okay, if you don't have an account, so you can uh, you click on register for free account. You enter your credentials and you will create your account. For me, I have an account, so I will uh, enter my credentials here. Okay, in the uh, digital platform, there is no register with Google or with Facebook or with GitHub. So you will have to enter uh, or create uh, your account directly from the top. Okay. So I will I will be here my credentials and I will I will log into my Zotero. And uh, this interface will be displayed. Okay, if you don't have the, if you have articles in your Zotero and it's not displayed here, we will fix it uh, by the next step. Okay, so the next step is to sync our desktop Zotero with online account. Okay, so we'll go to uh, the desktop uh, application. We'll go to the edit. When edit, we'll click on settings. In here, sync. We'll enter our credentials as it is in the online account. Okay, so I will go to uh, pass my password. Okay, where is my password? I will make it here and set up syncing. Okay, so uh, synchronization will be made. Okay, will be made. Uh, and yeah, okay, so uh, we'll return to our uh, uh, Zotero online account. We we'll make a refresh. Once we we'll make a refresh, I think all your folders and articles will be displayed here. Okay, then uh, so we'll, we'll close this and go to uh, create our API. To create our API, we will return to our Zotero in our name of profile here. We'll click on settings. In settings, we'll go to security, to applications, and create new private key. Okay, we we'll create private key, and I will name it Overleaf YouTube. Okay, here we'll choose uh, allow library access. Here we'll choose read only, and that's it. We'll uh, click on save. On save. Uh, this key will be displayed. Okay. Uh, this key is important, so you, uh, you have to copy it and paste it in notebook, in uh, Word uh, file. Uh, uh, important, uh, you have to remember this key, okay? For me, I will copy it and I will uh, keep it in my press paper here, okay? Uh, so, the next one is enter the API in our overleaf. So, we'll go to our overleaf, we'll create an account. Okay, for me, I will enter directly with my Gmail. Here, you can enter directly with your Gmail account. Yeah, uh, then I will create a new project. So, uh, each time, uh, each time you create a new project, you have to do uh, this step from uh, this point. Okay, 
so blank for a uh, blank project I will name it test linking linking Test linking of this letter. Yeah, and project will be created. We will go to this icon, upload, and to from uh, external URL. You say there is here from the two. Yeah, there is here from the two, but like I said in the first of, uh, of this video, uh, it's limited in number of uh, time and in number of articles. On me, I want something which is unlimited. So I go to from external uh, external URL. I will pass my API here, but this API uh, must uh, be structured, okay, like this, like this. The API is structured. So we have API is zero user ID collection K and API K, okay. Uh, at the moment we have the API K, so we'll pass it here, okay. Our API, this one, okay. Then we'll make user ID to find the user ID. We'll reach on to zero. We click on security. So, user ID, user ID for use an API. This one, so we'll copy this one. Okay, we'll copy it. We'll make it here. Yeah, uh, and collection key to find collection key in zero. We go to web library. In web library, we must have. Uh, a folder okay so you have to make all articles that you want to make reference to it in one folder okay in one folder only one folder okay so uh, i will choose this folder and this folder uh, it's not um uh, how to say how to say it uh it must be not have uh subfolders so only one folder okay i will uh will make this folder and we'll pass the key of this folder in this place okay this is uh, this is the key uh, i will post it here okay in collection key yeah i will copy all this and i will make it in this place okay uh it said uh, oh, okay we'll make a name of file for example maybe like this okay if there is no error if there is error uh, uh the error will be printed here Okay, for now I think there is no error, so I'll, I'll uh, click on create. Okay, the, uh, uh, here is our bibliography. Okay, uh, if you wanna see it, so we click on download. Okay. So here is all the your bibliography in bib text format. So the next one is sorry is a refresh. One I mean uh, one I mean by refresh. Uh, so uh, we'll try to add uh, new articles. Okay, we'll go to Google Scholar. Google Scholar. For example, this one. So I will copy here. So I will paste it here. For now, we don't have this uh, this article. Okay. We'll try to add it to to our Zotero. So save to Zotero. Yeah. So it's added. So we'll research it. I think this one. Okay. Yeah. We'll search it. We'll try to search it. In uh, our uh, online zero and there is uh, why because we have automatic synchronization between the two between the online uh, offline zero and the online zero. But if we uh, try to search it in our uh, bibliography of 
of our leaf I don't think will uh, I don't think uh, we'll find it okay so it's not found uh, to uh, to make uh, to update uh, this uh, this one with the new articles we click on refresh when we click on refresh we try to make the world and we search these new articles this new article okay here is a new article in the first one okay yes okay so each time uh, you add the new articles in your uh, G2 file you have to uh, go uh, in this uh, place and click on refresh okay to make uh, synchronization between the two uh, now we try to make a reference example okay to make a reference examples uh, first thing we need uh, these two packages okay we need uh, make two of these packages in in here okay and make a uh, print bibliography here print sorry print print it's print bibliography yeah um now uh, what we made uh, we make a reference to make a reference so we, uh, we, uh, we write site in parentheses this parentheses okay we have to make something uh, between these parentheses okay so we'll go to the zero the online one okay we'll choose we'll choose the uh, which article wanna be uh, referenced okay for me for the first one okay what we made we made here export okay this icon export bib uh we choose bib text okay we choose the third one bib text okay one will choose it so we click it or we open it and we copy this first line okay this first line we'll go to the zero and make here uh, pass it here and make compile And there is, uh, there is uh, the paper, okay, okay, I think uh, it's not here, it's uh, here, sorry, after the introduction, yeah, it is the, this paper, reference, with the reference, okay, we try to make second one, okay, site okay site we'll go to the zero for example uh, all facts okay we we'll make a uh, click on all facts export big text we'll open this one and we'll copy this first line okay this first line and we'll make it here and we'll make Compile and here is the second one. Okay, here is I think it's made by alphabetical order. Okay, you can uh, you can uh, modify this uh, uh, with your uh, referencing style. Okay, in the next video, in the next videos, inshallah. Uh, I will explain the different style uh, of references uh, of referencing. Okay, uh, so yeah, here is the method how to link uh, Zotero uh, with uh, Overdiff. It's a little bit complicated, like I said, but all other methods are complicated. Okay, there, there is no uh, this only only this method. There is other methods, but uh, it's the same. I think for me this is a simple one. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, something before ending this video. What I say, uh, uh, if you if you see that uh, some file or some articles is not synchronized uh, synchronized with your uh, your uh, desktop app, okay, uh, this because uh, in the online uh, online platform you have 
uh, only 300 gigabytes of storage okay so if you have number of articles that exceeds 300 uh, 300 megabytes will not be synchronized with offline one so the article will not be added to this online one okay so if you if you search of articles that is in this desktop that is uh, and that is not found in the online uh, online one uh, uh, so the problem is you reach the quota. So how you know that is the quota? Like me, uh, it says 100 percent. So I should, uh, I should uh, the maximum quota that uh, uh, Zutro provide me in the uh, their online platform. Okay. So yeah, uh, I will figure uh, inshallah a solution for this. Okay. For me, the solution is to not to make synchronization. Only make uh, make here. I will make manually folders or articles that will uh, will uh, uh, will will need to be in the online platform. Okay. So for me, I don't need all the articles that there is in desk my desktop app. They will be in the uh, online app. Okay. So we will make here a folder that will contain only the articles that we uh, need to be in the online one. Okay, and then well, I think will not be exceeded the, the maximum quota of 300, uh, 300 megabytes. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you uh, make attention, uh, make your attention uh, about this uh, issue or problem. Uh, and yeah, this is uh, our video. I think, uh, uh, inshallah, uh, you understand how uh, to link uh, Zetero with Overleaf and with uh, what I see in and see you.